Hey Aries, so we're going to do your yearly reading for 2021. And this is a general reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is a general reading, so it might not resonate for every single person that comes across this video. Keep in mind that I could be picking up an energy around you, so... Let's go ahead and look at your signifier, so your current energies. Aries. Current energy for Aries. We have the six of water, the dream. So this is like, kind of like, um, has to do with the past. So the past coming up, some kind of old dream or, you know, feeling disappointed because of a dream uh, that you had in the past that didn't work out. Um, this also has to do with uh, putting the weight of a dream love on a human person and setting yourself up for disappointment and setting them up for failure so because you know who can live up to a fantasy so let's it's gonna be different for all of you so let's go ahead and move into your life path and shadow life path shadow recent past 2021 overall and then we'll look into your main spread I had like a hard time meditating and shuffling for you guys, I will admit. There was like a sense of impatience. <laughs> Aries. Life path, shadow, recent past, and 2021 overall. So for your life path, we have going with the flow. So, you know, learning to go with the flow. Uh, be a little bit more patient, um, being um, more open to spirituality. Um, we'll see when we go into clarify, but it is like an emotional openness, you know, going with the flow and working with the divine plan and not against it. For your shadow, we have ordinariness. So you might be afraid of just ordinary work, you know, um, slow progress, slow, steady progress. Um, this also might mean that you are feeling too settled, but it does kind of give me the sense that you're ready to pick things up at a faster pace. And it's just like, you know, in the ordinary timing, in the ordinary actions, you know, taking out the trash and all of that, the extraordinary can be built. So for your recent past, we have the rebel. So, you know, breaking old patterns, maybe uh, breaking, liberating yourself from perceive you know doubts that were put on you from either society or from yourself but I do feel like you ignited your yourself basically and became your own leader and saved yourself it feels like and maybe saved others along the way for your 2021 overall we have the existence card so this is kind of like kind of like the magician um and it's you know telling me that I feel like you're going to become a lot more clear on how things work, uh, maybe a lot more patient and a lot more at peace perhaps. So let's go ahead and start clarifying this before we get into the main spread. I want to clarify your life path going with the flow. Aries. Your life path is, you know, going with the flow, going going with what comes your way. Um, I feel like, you know, you are in a place where it... Mm, I keep hearing um, that quote about the kitchen and if, it, if it's too hot, get out of the kitchen. I feel like you're knowing when to go cool yourself off and that's where you get the new opportunities that's when you get the success the new ideas and everything like that I feel like you're not trying to keep up with the rat race if that makes sense you're not trying to lead the rat race anymore because doesn't this look silly I feel like you're like okay this is how I get new offers this is how I build something new 
not by, you know, stirring and stirring and stirring and, and competing. I feel like you're going more with a divine plan and a divine path. Something with more, you know, definitely emotionally, uh, emotional fulfillment and less emotional draining. So let's look at your um, shadow here with the ordinariness, that eight of rainbows, eight of pentacle energy, that ordinary work. Airy shadow. Definitely like a defensiveness, you know, needing, needing to control your finances, control your stability, but with her hands full, what can come in? What, what can she receive with her hands full? Her hands are full too, you know, you're trying to protect your treasure, your emotional, your, your emotional well-being. You're trying to, you know, this is my wish fulfillment, but this is also temporary. Everything is temporary. And you're trying to defend something temporary. Don't be afraid of starting a new beginning and putting in hard work on something new. Um, let's look at your recent past with this rebel. Rebel. My goodness, good for you. It looks like you healed some kind of old, um, old karma. Freed. Some kind of old karma, some kind of injustice done to either you or ancestors, but I feel like you rebelled against it and you broke that pattern. You broke free of that, that cycle, that time. Oh, wow. This feels good, you guys. Good for you. You broke free. You liberated yourself and your ancestors' present and future, past, present, and future, I feel like, in your recent past. Hell yes. Whatever that was, you know, it could be something like quitting drinking, quitting cigarettes. It can be something small. It can be, um, you know, no longer giving yourself away to people that don't deserve you. It can be like, you know, learning to slow down and not exhaust yourself. It could be anything. Well, it's going to be different for everybody, but, mm, okay. Um, 2021 overall, this existence card, this type of um, magician, you know, manifesting energy for you. 2021 Aries. Ooh, you have the Nine of Cups twice already, and this is pretty early on in the reading. So it's like in 2021, you're finding emotional contentment, emotional stability, but don't, I, I just, you know. Don't close yourself off or if, if, from love because this person's heart chakra is closed off. Um, don't put on a show that you're stable. Work on being stable. Don't, don't show it. Be it. Um, I'm just trying to name off the things that are coming in my head because it's just like it's a lot of things for a lot of different people right now. You are, you are manifesting wish fulfillment, you know, um, emotional stability, emotional contentment and independence and stuff like that. And it's going to feel great, but don't, 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 uh, don't stop there. Cause that's the illusion, right? Um, 2021 overall for Aries. 10 of earth. Yeah. You're definitely getting some kind of wish come true. Something that's going to bring sustain, uh, Stability, contentment. It, um, when I was shuffling for you, I heard, you know, building, you building, building, building. And for an Aries, when you're building something, you're definitely a little bit impatient. But this is, if it's built, if it's being built slowly, trust it. It's built to last. It's built correctly. It's going to feel good. It's not going to feel temporary. It's going to bring in abundance, stability, more time. You're going to have more time to, to feel warm and abundant within yourself and your family. You're going to have more time to spend with your family. All of that. I mean, it's all going to pay off. One more for 2021 overall. Woof. Okay. Just...
Yeah, it's going to give you cause for celebration. You're going to be very excited, you know, wanting to celebrate, uh, collaborate with others, you know, see your family, spend time with your family, loved ones, friends. Um, you're going to want to shout at the rooftops about this new wish fulfillment, new stability, new empire that you're building, Aries. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty details. I want to look at your abilities, love, finance work, and spirit life for 2021. Aries. Abilities, love, money, spirit. So for your abilities, we have ripeness, nine of pentacles, you know, like single ladies, single men's bachelor, bachelorette card, very stable and independent. Don't need anybody else to make your money. You know, even though there might be some doubts, things are unknown. This is also a temporary situation. It's like, I'm right. Since it's in your abilities, you know it. You know it and you're using it. You're, you've are you sown the seeds. It's bearing fruit and you're going to sell that fruit. And uh, collect your coins. Um, let me go ahead and clarify this right now. Nine of rainbows, nine of pinnacle energy, abilities for Aries 2021. Queen of wands in reverse, seven of pinnacles in reverse. You're, you know, I feel like you're aware that there are some doubts. There are some things that are unknown. You're, you're afraid of certain things, but since these are in reverse, it's like, well, not this one, but since the seven of pentacles are in reverse, you're moving out of that doubt space. Can I see the queen of, oh no. Queen of wands in reverse. Your energy is wild. Queen of wands in reverse. Abilities. Okay, so you're going through a transformation, whether you believe it or not, like those doubts that you burned away in your recent past, they're still, I mean, it, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's burning away, baby. You might need, you might not be feeling your full self the first three months of the year, but it's burning away. That transformation is happening. You're finding your inner spark. You're finding your inner fire and burning away the doubt so that you can have this open you know, open-hearted gift to the world of progress, of uh, productivity, um, uh, knowledge, warmth, love, new ideas, enrichment, you know. But, it, you know, for your abilities in 2021 is maneuvering your doubts, maneuvering what you're unsure of. So... For your love, passions, and interests, we have morality. You might be getting involved with an air sign that's a little closed off and cold. Uh, we have the moon here, so they are just not into the unknown. They are not into it. They, If, if, if it's unclear, they're going to cut it out. So this can also mean this is you. This can also mean this is you in the next year. You're not taking any bullshit. You're going to not sacrifice your stability and you're building an empire that's going to last and you're not going to have any insurgents. What, what is that word? Love for Aries. Yep. You might take some time to be alone this year. Because the hermit's going to walk away and uh, find his enlightenment, right? His inner no. Uh, even, if you're, even if you're married or something, you're going to spend a lot more time on inner healing. You're going to find time searching for those keys that unlock the doors in yourself that can give you so much confidence and um, make your Aries actions more proficient, longer lasting, more like an Earth or Taurus energy. Like, um, not that this has anything to do with Taurus, but I'm thinking like, you know, how Tauruses build things very slow and accurately and precisely. I feel like this is, you know, this, you know, spending some time alone 
uh, on self-love and protecting yourself is going to help you make your passion actions more long-lasting, uh, built better, built mm, like a three of pentacles, you know? So, I want to get one more card for your love here. Love life for Aries in 2021. Whoop. The star card. You're just taking some time to clear your water. Turn, you know, do some inner alchemy. Turn, you know, mud into water. Wine into water. I don't drink, so that's my, that's my saying. Um, you know, you might be doing a lot of meditating and healing. There's a lot of inner soul searching here um finding yourself so self-love definitely self-love practices journaling i see all right so for your work for your work we have the king of pentacles woo -woo. work and finance lots of abundance flowing with divine timing not pushing or pulling um just try not to push or pull <laughs> that's what i'm saying but It's going to feel like you're floating, I feel like. Yeah. Oh my goodness, lots of new offers. You're going to have lots of new money coming in. You know, your your empire is going to be built off integral money. Integral money. Money that you you made off of, you know, being integ integral. Don't be heartbroken or in, by impatience. Don't don't let impatience or anything or any kind of a, a illusion of weakness betray you this year, next year. Okay, and that's all. I don't want to pay any more attention to that because we are on a roll. We're on a good roll. So for your spirit, we have ten of fire suppression. All right, I feel like you're going to be having a breakthrough. Hold on, baby, almost done. Come here. Come here, baby. Come. So, let's go ahead and look at your spirit life for 2021. Suppression. Breaking free of some kind of suppressed feelings. Suppressed spirit, maybe. Ooh. Removing yourself from toxic energies. Your spirit life is going to be reborn. Reborn and purified. Pure, pure. Purification by fire. The devil is being removed from your life. Whatever that is, whatever or whoever that is, but you're not doing it no more. It's been suppressed for so long and it's erupting. One more for spirit. Aries, spirit life, 2021. Woo! Lots of hard work. You're going to do a lot of hard work on yourself and it's going to feel lighter than you ever thought it would. With that little character playing. It's like, um, this hard work is going to feel lighter than, um, like, physical world work. You're, you know, your meditating work, your self-improve, you know, improving on yourself, your spiritual life. It's going to feel good to you, and it's going to feel studious. Um, you know, it might have to do with dance and music a lot, you know, tapping into yourself like that. So, it's very good. Um, I want to look at your obstacle and overall guidance real quick. Your obstacle is four of water. So, rejection of some kind, let's see. What is this four of water for your obstacle in 2021? Compromise. Don't give yourself away. Don't give yourself away because it might throw you off balance. Don't compromise yourself. There might be some offer rejected here, some kind of emotional love, love offer here rejected. But if you compromise yourself, also for some of you, if you have some kind of um, relationship that you're trying to mend, 
don't compromise yourself in this agreement or reconciliation because it sows seeds of resentment between the two of these characters, right? Obstacle for Aries. Four of Cups in reverse. Obstacle for Aries. 2021. The Hierophant. There is a clinging here to. You lose your stability and you lose your finances when you give yourself away to a figure or a person or whatever, you know, someone that you idolize. It's like, uh, idolize yourself. Yeah, I'm getting too much for that. This is for your work too, it's finances. Like you're, you, your finances are in trouble when you comp when you give yourself away and compromise yourself washed away it feels like if, if 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 someone's asking you for money too that's if someone's asking you for money for spiritual help that's weird i mean unless it's a tarot reading but i mean like you know you know what i mean oh something icky something icky in your work one more Work in finance 2021. Please clear this up. That's too many. Come on, Aries. Work in finance 2021. All right. Just don't give don't give too much. You got too much to lose. Too much to lose. All right. Oh, um, the magician in reverse. So whatever you're manifesting can be ripped out from under you. You know, there's some kind of manipulative spiritual energy here in your work and finance. So mm, take it how it resonates. For your spirit life, we have two of air. Some kind of indecision or in clarity, feeling confused. Temperance in reverse. There's, you know, you, you need to clear your water. Definitely working on yourself this year. Working on yourself, tempering yourself, because the temperance is in reverse. Yeah, the two of water. I feel like you're not making clear decisions. Um, feeling maybe a little bit impulsive because you don't know. You're not knowing. Spirit, spirit, spirit life. Yeah. just got real hard towards the end of this reading, didn't you? Like a lot of air and cold water. I don't think you're ready to face the burdens right now. You're too content at where you're at. You are not um, moving towards spiritual unknowns this year. <laughs> it's weird because it You know, you're building a lot in the physical realm. You are. You're building a lot in the physical realm. Um, and and you're, you, your love life. Um, there is some kind of spiritual work here. Alone. You know, self-love practices. But as far as your spiritual life goes, you know, there's something you're not facing. There's something. I pulled a lot of cards. I can't pull anymore. So, all right. Oh, 
overall guidance. Overall guidance for Aries, step out from self-limiting beliefs, break through what you think you know about for yourself and um, maybe become a student, you know, be willing to learn about new ideas, new techniques, new things, you know, that will get your, 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 your passions uh, reignited and your ideas, you know, it's going to, you know, you might have a dry spell of ideas, but it's like, I feel like once you kill all of these illusions and step out from that place of feeling, you know, uh, helpless or, or, you know, unable to control your mind or your outcomes or anything like that, once you break through old patterns again, break through old patterns and old self-limiting beliefs, that's when these new new beginnings can come for you. And instead of just looking at an idea, you can make it happen. Alright, so let's get one overall advice card with this Archangel Gem deck for Aries. Y'all are hard to read for sometimes. <laughs> Copper, do you need some motivation to transform your reality? Do you find your mind wandering when you are trying to stay focused? If so, you need to find your passion and begin experiencing the rewards that come with living it. Do what you love, prosperity is yours, but you must take action. Copper. Archangel Zadkiel, I am safe. I have constant protection surrounding me, deflecting anything that is not for my highest good. I have the courage and self-confidence to create my world. It is easy for me to take action and move forward in life with joy and enthusiasm. Thank you so much, Aries. <laughs> that was a rough one towards the end, but um, love you guys. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to donate if you feel so inclined, and have a happy holiday. Have a great year.